Hello, this is Annie, Andrew, Brake, and Matthias. Today we are here to answer the question, what is good web design? By definition, it encompasses a number of important principles, including precedence, clarity, design to build, navigation, usability, typography, spacing, and mobile friendliness. We hope this video helps you to better understand good web design. Precedence. Precedence is guiding the eye of the user to the website based on position, color, and the most recently popular F layout. In position, the, the web designer guides, guides using the F layout, which is the, the principle currently used right now in web design, which focuses on the top left part in designing, which is in the top left part, the, the user is mainly focused on the title or other important aspects of the site. The top left part and the top right part is the side portion which is mainly unnecessary and color and color is also one of the aspects of precedence like contrast which builds up which should be more focused by the user whether it's black or it's white whether it's red or it's green that is precedence <clears throat> the next thing we're going to focus on is clarity uh, when using CSS, your pixels and everything will be perfect. Clarity is mainly, mainly focused when you're using Photoshop, which we have not even touched in this class, so I'm not going to focus on that. But uh, clarity is key so that you have a design that is very crisp and sharp, so it is easy to read and easy to see. Uh, next is design to build. There are many things that you want to ask yourself when you're designing your build. The first thing to ask is, can it actually be done? Uh, many people will design a website that is basically impossible to do or have this thought in mind that it's uh, outside of their span. So by asking yourself this, you avoid having a website that is too wide for your screen also. Um, so many users are having to use their horizontal scroller to see the entire page, which is not here in this Jimmy John's page. We don't have that problem here. Um, another common mistake is not using standard HTML font, um, which also is not in this page because they actually did the correct web page design. Um, and there are some limits to designing a web page. Uh, one of those limits that you'll have to look at is like screen resizing. You have to figure out if your design is centered or if you need to repeat backgrounds or even how they work. So as we can see in both of these, everything is centered on this one and on this one. Um, is anything technically difficult is another question that you'll ask yourself. The main thing that stands out that could be technically difficult is something like vertical alignment in CSS because that can get tricky sometimes. Um, one more thing to focus on is less is more. Uh, it's a simple things as like taking elements that you have separated and combining them so it makes it look more complex and more appealing to the eye but it's just as simple as having them separated as you can see like they took their their uh, their title page here and they put their main point right above this which they could have had those separated but they decided to keep those together so it's more pleasing to the eye but it is uh, just as simple to do uh, simplifying for large sites uh, especially for large sites. Sorry about that. A great example of this is uh, using CSS and since that is now available it is much more common to bring in buttons on the website. So when we when we're working with buttons on HTML it is a little bit more difficult and it's a little bit more complex to bring that in but as you can see here they have the menu button and all these other things that they have used through CSS so it is a lot more simplicated or simplified and uh, it, it, you don't have as wide of a range to do what you want with the buttons, but it is much more simplified. Now we'll talk about navigation. 
Navigation is the use of tabs, buttons, and roll downs so that the user can know where they're going to and where they are at the all at the same time. Now as you can see here on this Jimmy John's page, we have the menu button, find a JJ's, JJ store, company, and sustainability. This allows the user to travel to different parts of the web page to find information that they're looking for, all the while knowing where they're going to. Now on this page, they have a roll down tab that will have more options or more places that you can find so that the user can find the information that they're looking for. Now let's talk about usability. The placement of text boxes, pictures, etc. that the users can find information easily by standard reasons or common sense, meaning that the user can easily find what they're looking for. See how these pictures are aligned to each other so that it's all even. Also, users can easily figure out what to click on because the text is boxes here are all lined up and that the font is the same color and design. Now let's talk about typography. Typography is one of the most important elements of design. A lot of thought needs to be put into it. Here are some things to consider. Consider your font choice. Every font says something different. Some say modern, some say elegant, others might say youthful. It is important your font says the right message you're trying to convey. Another important thing to remember is font size. Font size can make or break a website. Make sure it is large enough to be readable. Also check to see that all font sizes are proportioned so that headings and subheadings stand out appropriately. Also text color. A common fitball, fit pa, pitfall <laughs> when it comes to typography is text color. A bad habit is using low contrast colors. While this looks nice, it is really hard to read. When it comes to typography, just remember that it is important for your website to be readable. Now let's talk about spacing. Spacing is the contrast of elements that are empty space in a website. Like in this site, there's so much spacing that it creates the user to focus on what's really there that isn't white. Spacing can be divided into two, macro spacing and micro spacing. Micro, macro spacing is the padding and the margins of the website. And micro spacing is the spacing between letters. Oh. In this website, spacing is very clear here in that most of it is negative space or white. This lets the user focus on what is really there, like the words that are there, the logos, which also increases the direction of which the user will look at. <clears throat> the last thing we're going to talk about is mobile friendliness. In this day and age, making a website mobile friendly is becoming increasingly important. Mobile friendly websites improve the user's experience. Mobile websites are specifically designed for handheld devices, making it easy to access all parts of the website from a phone or tablet. Mobile sites can be accessed anywhere, anytime. This constant connectivity allows for the site to reach more people at all times. These nine essential elements will help better your knowledge of web design and will make life easier for you when it comes, to, when it comes time to make your own personalized website. We hope you enjoyed watching the video and the information we provided. This has been Andrew, Annie, Matthias, and Brake. Thank you for watching and have a great day.